Christmas typically comes once a year, of course, unless you are visiting the Glensheen Mansion in Duluth. Three years ago, they began opening up the mansion for Christmas tours. They take place through January 8th. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrenson visited Glensheen to find out why attendance has so greatly increased for those holiday tours. Many people say that Christmas at Glensheen is when it feels the most like a family home. Walking into this mansion always feels like stepping back in time. Here we are, we're walking into the breakfast room. Three years ago, Jane Peterson and her colleagues decided they wanted visitors to see what the Congdon family would have seen when they came home for the holidays. A normal Saturday for the Christmas tour was probably about 200 people. Now we're seeing numbers that are right alongside our July and August Saturday numbers with 700, 800, 900 people. The most wonderful time of year has also become one of the busiest. 25 Christmas trees have been added, along with hidden elves and hundreds of feet of garland. In the library, we have the Congdon's original ornaments. So the ornaments that they would have had on their own Christmas tree are on display for everyone to see. It takes two weeks of no visitors and a lot of Christmas helpers to decorate 27,000 square feet for the holidays. But when they reopen on Black Friday, the transformation is clear and it's complete with Mrs. Congdon's original shortbread recipe. We are constantly refilling the cookies. Uh, everybody loves Claire Congdon's shortbread. They are delicious. Like the holiday spirit, nostalgia is everywhere. A photo of the living room fireplace from 1910, a Christmas menu from 1911, and pictures of the coachman and gardener, whose jobs were to fashion Christmas wreaths for the holidays. Unlike Christmases of today, the Congdon's living room didn't have iPads or televisions. Back then they didn't have those luxuries and so they were forced to talk to one another. And they have some really wonderful uh, conversation pieces. Such as their own quarters, the Congdon children's rooms are decorated with their favorite Christmas colors. And as you can tell, a majority of this room is blue, the interior is here, so it's affectionately called the blue room. But one of the biggest draws of this tour may be Clara Congdon's nativity collection. It contains nativity scenes from around the world. Some are more than 100 years old. It looked like it was done in a way that would not have looked out of place at the time when the Congans still lived here. When it feels like the family is home for the holidays and you can imagine yourself like the Congdon's sitting next to the fire, drinking some hot cocoa, opening their presents, being together with family. It is my favorite time of the year. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Looks so snuggly, as my sister would say. Well, beginning tomorrow through the end of the year, Glen Sheen will be offering candlelight Christmas evenings. Guests will get a chance to see the mansion at night, illuminated only by the glow of those 25 Christmas trees that John showed us. We will have more information on our website. Just go to wccocom links. And as we